The case contains the electronic components of the computer used to process data and protects the components from damage. These cases, which are made of metal or plastic, are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. You should be familiar with the electronic components inside the case. These electronic components are discussed in this chapter. The motherboard, or system board as it is sometimes called, is the main circuit board of the computer. The processor, also called the central processing unit, is the electronic component on the computer's motherboard that interprets and carries out the basic instructions that operate the computer. The power of personal computer processor chips has grown at an amazing rate. Most processor chip manufacturers offer multi-core processors including the dual that contains two separate processor cores and the quad that contains four separate processor cores. The leading manufacturers of personal computer processor chips are Intel and AMD. Processors contain a control unit and an arithmetic logic unit that work together to perform processing operations. The control unit is the component of the processor that directs and coordinates most of the operations in the computer. The arithmetic logic unit performs arithmetic, comparison, and other operations. Processor relies on a small quartz crystal circuit called the system clock to control the timing of all computer operations. The pace of the system clock is called the clock speed and is measured in gigahertz. Cloud storage is an internet service that provides storage to computer users. Home and business users choose cloud computing for a variety of reasons. Most computers are digital. They recognize only two discrete states, on and off. The computer uses a binary system because the binary system has just two unique digits, 0 and 1, called bits. A bit, short for binary digit, is the smallest unit of data the computer can process. When 8 bits are grouped together as a unit, they form a byte. A byte can represent numbers, uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet, punctuation marks, or others, such as the letters of the Greek alphabet. When you press a key on a keyboard, eventually the character is converted to its corresponding byte, which is actually a series of on-slash-off electrical states. When processing is finished, software converts the byte into a human recognizable number, letter of the alphabet, or special character that is displayed on a screen or is printed. Memory consists of one or more chips on the motherboard or other circuit board. Memory is measured by the number of bytes available for storage. A byte is a basic storage unit in memory. There are three categories of items that memory stores, the operating system and related software, application programs used to carry out a specific task, and the data being processed by the application programs. When an application's instructions and data are transferred to memory from storage devices, the instructions and data exist as bytes. Each byte resides temporarily in a location in memory that has an address. An address is a unique number that identifies the location of a byte in memory. The size of memory is measured in terms of the number of bytes available for storage. Common sizes for memory are in the gigabyte and terabyte range. Users typically are referring to RAM, random access memory, when discussing computer memory. RAM is considered volatile memory, the contents are lost when the power is turned off. When the computer is turned on, certain operating system files load into RAM from a storage device, such as a hard disk. As additional programs and data are requested, they also load into RAM from storage. Read-only memory, ROM refers to memory chips storing permanent data and instructions. Non-volatile memory does not lose contents when power is removed. RAM chips usually reside on a memory module and are inserted into memory slots. Most of today's computers improve their processing times with cache. 
One common type of cache is memory cache. Memory cache speeds the processes of the computer because it stores frequently used instructions and data. Read-only memory refers to memory chips storing permanent data and instructions. ROM is also known as firmware. Flash memory is used with smartphones, printers, digital cameras, automotive devices, audio players, and digital voice recorders. Flash memory is a type of non-volatile memory that can be erased electronically and rewritten. Flash memory chips consist entirely of electronic components and contain no moving parts. Access time is the amount of time it takes the processor to read from memory and is measured in nanoseconds. Expansion slots and adapter cards enhance the system unit or provide connections to external devices called peripherals. An expansion slot is a socket on the motherboard that can hold an adapter card. An adapter card is a circuit board that enhances functions of a component of the system unit and slash or provides connections to a peripheral device. Examples of peripheral devices are modems, disk drives, printers, scanners, and keyboards. Many of today's computers support plug and play, which means the computer automatically can configure adapter cards and other peripherals as they are installed. USB adapter enhances functions of a mobile computer and or provides connections to peripheral devices. These are used to transfer bits from input devices to memory, from memory to the processor, from the processor to memory, and from memory to output or storage devices. Buses consist of a data bus and an address bus. Power supply or laptop AC adapter converts the wall outlet AC power into DC power. Different motherboards and computers require different wattages on the power supply. All computers and devices can run using either a power supply or batteries. If a power supply is not providing the necessary power, the computer or mobile device will not function properly.